Greetings folks, I'm just back from my first proper flight with the Foxtech H-Wing uh, and it went really well. As usual we had a little bit too much wind uh, but it actually handled the wind quite well. It just leans into the wind and, and holds itself there in position uh, now that the GPS is lock, locking properly um, and I could successfully switch it into wing mode and go for a fly around. I found it very easy to fly, uh, quite smooth really, even uh, despite the wind. Unfortunately, my phone wasn't recording, doing its screen recording. Uh, that was my screen recording app had somehow got corrupted. So next flight, I'll be able to show you the the, uh, the track, the GPS track uh, on the map. Um, I did put an action camera in the nose, so we've got some aerial footage to show you. Uh, but basically, it did everything it should do. It's taken a bit longer than I intended, uh, mainly because I'm training a new fingertip there that's coming along well. Uh, and we've just had some rotten weather as well. You may have seen the, the floods up in New South Wales. We're getting the tail end of that and, and all the wind as well. So we just haven't had decent weather for a couple of weeks probably to um, really test it out. Can handle a little bit of wind. It would be great on a, on a calm sunny day. Uh, Part of the problem was that uh, flying from the phone, I actually have difficulty flying from the phone because I've got to wear close-up glasses to see it and it's usually sort of bright uh, and sunny where I fly. Uh, so ideally you need to turn your, your phone screen uh, brightness right up and, and hopefully have a, a shade as well um, and I need to take close-up glasses as well. Something I forgot to be careful about was when you strap the action camera in there, uh, this tag of the strap can fall down in front of the FPV camera and you won't have the FPV view. Uh, so I was actually just flying using the, um, the map and the, the uh, flight track while that was going on, uh, while I was recording the action cam footage. But anyway, let's go and have a look at it now. Next time I go up, I'll make sure I have the um, screen recording app working properly and uh, we'll be able to see uh, what I'm seeing on the screen. Thanks for watching. Okay, stick down and into arm. There we go. Um, let's take off. Bit of wind, it's uh, holding that nicely. Let's go up higher. Try return to home. Actually, let's fly around a bit first. Get out there. Now we'll do return to home. It should go up higher and then come back to here. There we are. It's now descending leaning into the wind nicely come on don't need that wind but it's actually handling it okay doing a good job and forward a bit good job well done All right, so let's try uh, wing mode now. Come on. Oh, there we go. Get up a bit of height. Altitude 20, 25, 30. Forty, all right. We should be able to change to wing mode now. Here we go. Oh no, I've done a return to home. All right, get that wing mode. There we go. Oh yeah, we are flying. Cool. All right, so now I've got FPV view too. Awesome, it's working. See it up there, it's coming straight back towards me. That is cool. This is actually working. I need to bump up the brightness of my screen um, so I can see what I'm recording. 
Here it is coming back. This is actually working properly now. This is great. Here it comes. Height 70 metres. Transitioning to quad mode, VTOL mode. Hovering and coming back down again. I can switch it out of return to home mode and land it manually, which I will do so that I can make sure it doesn't land on my bag. Forward a bit, round a bit. I'm in control. This is cool. And hold the throttle down and it stops, disarms. There we go, we're actually working. 65% battery left. Put a uh, action camera in the nose. Okay, here we go. Get it up to uh, at least 40 metres, they said. So I'll do that. I don't have FPV new view now because I think the um, uh, strap might be in the way. Wing mode, here we go. I'm just looking on the map to see where we're going. Do a circuit of the field. Turning around, doing a nice curve. Now flying straight back towards me. Let's have a look over that way. Curve back again around up to the end of the field. This is working well. Uh, pity I can't see the FPV view though. Because I've covered it with the strap. Anyway. So let's hit return to home now. And it's turning around and coming back. Scary without the FPV view. Really would prefer goggles and a shade on the phone, of course. But it all seems to be going well. Here it is up above there. It's gone into VTOL mode and it's coming back to me. Well, it's taken a while, uh, mainly to do with the HEQ Fly app, I think, and getting it seemed to work perfectly well in Q ground control, but you don't get the FPV view then. You just let it land by itself. Now I'll bring it back and do it manually. Always seems to want to land on your gear for some reason. <laughs> and down you go. Oh, that's cool. Great stuff. Alright, so it all seems to work. That's a good first test. Uh, I'll uh, work out some FPV a little bit better. Yes, yeah, so I've just got my strap <laughs> covering the FPV camera. That was a bit silly. Alright, so that'll do me for the moment. Um, that's a good test, good first test. I now know that it's going to work properly and I can do a bit more with it. I really like to put maybe a, a DJI high, uh, digital uh, camera on there and have proper goggles for you, but that'll be in the next video. Great stuff. I'm glad it's working finally. Thanks for watching. Okay.